I'm back at Romano Scientific again. Hopefully Dr. Romano will let me in and I can look at some work. Come in. Hi, Dr. Romano. I happened to be back and thought I could Hi. see what you're doing. Can I come take a look? Come take a look. I'm running up another question for my Facebook study group that I think they're going to love. This is a very similar DAT question that most kids would get wrong. Oh, Dr. Romano, I saw a mistake. What mistake? Empirical formulae. That doesn't have an E on it. Sorry. Well, I've been reading a lot of books from Great Britain. My favorite organic chemistry book from Great Britain is from a guy named Clayton. And all the Brits use the word formulae. Makes me feel smarter. So I'm going to keep it as formulae. So the hell with your spelling. Come back and let's look at this question. Okay, Dr. Romano. I'll start doing that myself. That'll now, make me smarter. It sure will. Now, what we would do in this problem, what I want to do in this problem, is we want to look at what we call a combustion reaction. We're going to take a hydrocarbon and we're going to make it undergo a combustion to CO2 and water. We analyze the amount of CO2 as 12.78 grams and water is 5.81 grams. Don't worry about the numbers not being nice. On the data exam and in the destroyer, all the numbers are nice and you can work with them readily. Um, all I care about you understanding is how I approach this problem. So don't get all worked up about the numbers not being so nice. What I want to do in this problem is to find the empirical formula of the compound. Now, we need to find the grams of carbon and the grams of hydrogen. All the grams of carbon are going to be in the CO2 and all the grams of hydrogen are going to be in the water. Now, I'm going to show you a nice little trick. I'm going to write down my given 12.78 grams of CO2 and I'm going to use a very, very clever conversion factor. There is 12 grams of carbon, we know, in a mole of CO2. So I'm going to write down there's 12 grams of carbon for every 44 grams of CO2. That's the weight of CO2. Since that is correct, these cancel out, and that automatically gives me the grams of carbon. Likewise, I have 5.81 grams of water, and we know a mole of water is 18, or the weight of water is 18, and there's two grams of hydrogen in 18 grams of water. Grams of the water cancel out, and I'm left with grams of hydrogen. Now that I got my grams of carbon and my grams of hydrogen, I lay it out. Carbon is 3.49, hydrogen is 0.646. Divide by the weight of each one to get it into moles. So this gives me carbon, 0.291, and hydrogen is 0.646. Divide by the smallest number to get a nice ratio. Unfortunately, when we did that, we didn't get a nice ratio. If it ended in a 0.5, we would multiply everything by 2 to get to the nearest whole number. But since this is a 0.2, I need to multiply by a 5. When I did that, that gives me C5, H11, and that's the empirical formula. Part B of this question says that if the molecular weight was 142 grams per mole, what would the molecular formula be? Well, we found the empirical formula. So I take the empirical formula, and I put it in brackets, and I put a little x down here, and I set it equal to the molecular, form, the molecular weight. The weight inside here gives me 71. So 71x is 142, x is 2. So this x is 2, we get C5H11 taken twice, and that gives me the alkane of C10H22. I hope this gives you a good understanding of how to do what we call combustion analysis. This is a great question. We have another question in the destroyer that might be just a little bit more challenging, but it's the same idea. If you can do this, you got the tools to be able to hit a good question on the deck. Okay, with Thank that, you, I will Dr. say goodbye Romano. to you. If I know all, what that, will I get a 30? If you know this... It'll give you uh, the tools to get to 30, but you need to know a lot more than this. All you guys think that you do one problem, you do a study guide written by a dental student, that that's your 30. You have a rude awakening that, that you're going to be encountering. Learn the material. There's no easy way out. Good day to you. Thank you, Dr. Romano. Thank you, sir. I'll be back.